Yeah, I noticed, like, you know, say, like, I know a guy here at the city, I'm just making this name up, John Franklin. Right. Right? And then, uh, and then I might get something that says Jonathan uh, F. Franklin or something like Correct, that yes. in there. And I'll say, oh, okay, let me see yeah. what he wants. And you know, it might say, Joe, uh, just c if you can download this real quick, it'd be great. I, you know, and that's a great example. Mm -hmm. um, what happens is, is that within the domain itself, uh, email, I should say, mm -hmm. uh, coming from the quote-unquote spoofer, mm -hmm. um, it will have something of that effect. Mm -hmm. Something that looks, you know, Joshua to Josh or, or, or what have you, mm -hmm. and it may look legitimate from the very get-go, mm -hmm. but then when you start scrutinizing a little bit more of what that email address is and mm -hmm. where it's really coming from, mm -hmm. uh, that's when the red flag should really go up. Yeah, and what I always do, and I don't know if this is, you can tell me if I'm doing the right mm -hmm. thing, I'll go and click on the address to see if it's a legitimate mm -hmm. city address or if it's a, you know, an address that you know is a Gmail or a Yahoo or something that I recognize. And, oh, I know this person; they have this address, right. and then I'll realize that it's not real. Yeah, it's you know with a dot uk dot seek whatever yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. So you know, and, and that really is one of the good first steps uh, that uh, individuals that uh, receive a large amount of emails yeah. should take. And when you think about it, uh, you think about these these bad guys that are sending out all these emails. Mm -hmm. And what's really interesting is that there are some various steps that an individual can take okay. to actually, um, you know, put some legitimacy on it. So okay. number one is where is it coming from? Okay. Where is that domain? Uh, number two, the subject. Sometimes the subject may not be uh, all clear. Mm -hmm. uh, number three would be the email itself. Uh, a couple examples in that email would be something to the effect that uh, the grammar is not right. Uh, it may be asking for something that's uh, out of the ordinary. Um, there may be uh, the, the, the conjugation of the sentences may be off. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the, the signature block on the, the bottom of the email may be something that you've never dealt with before. And so, again, those specific emails are really to trick an individual. Basically, it's what, it's what you call social engineering. Mm -hmm. And so um, a lot of these bad guys know that, they, that wherever they're sending it to, there may be IT help there. And so um, most IT departments are in the midst of a migration or changing out emails or you know, whatever the, the, the activity may be. And so the bad guys prey on that. And so they hope that they can get somebody that says, oh, hey, the city of Santa Fe is migrating over to a new email system. So let's go ahead and throw 365, Office 365 in there as a subject line and see what we can get. Mm -hmm. So essentially, it's so when you look at it from a physical aspect, you're just throwing in your line into a lake or a pond and hoping to catch something. And, and that's exactly what fishers do is that they just send out millions of emails hoping to get a small percentage um, because a lot of valuable information can be um, can be taken from that.